Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 30. Today we're going to look at MAMP Pro uh, and domain mapping with MAMP Pro. Out of the box with MAMP, you can quite easily set up a single domain with localhost um, and run that for your testing environment on your uh, local machine. Now, if you also have a little bit more technical ability, you can edit your host files on your computer to reasonably easy run multiple machines or multiple domains on the same um, machine. Now, I have actually done that before. I did that for quite a while, and then I converted to MAMP Pro. MAMP Pro allows us, with a few clicks, to be able to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set up a demo test domain of WordPress right now with you watching. First thing I'm going to do is actually clone my WordPress development install. And I've actually got a text expander snippet for that, although that's not it. There it is. And I'm going to give it my, my repository name. This is Text Expander, which just fills it out for me. So what this is saying is it's going to git clone, and it's going to clone my repository, and it's going to and and remove the git directory in there, because I don't want it to be a git repository anymore. And it's going to rename it by with the move command in terminal from WordPress development install to MAMP Pro. And hit go. And we'll watch it clone now. So it's set. Now, where did I do that? I actually did that right at the root level of my directory. So if I bring that over from my second screen and go to so it's typically not where I put it. Typically, I actually put them in my sites folder, which you can see is right there as well. Now we have MAMP Pro. And it's a WordPress install, but has no database hooked up, no nothing. It's just a set of files. So let's go into MAMP Pro, and I'm going to start it up. And I have to enter my password here because it's doing some stuff with my host's files. I'm going to go to the web start and PHP my admin and I want to add a database so I'm just call it map pro and I'm going to select all and copy I'm going to create that now I have a database ready for it now what we need to do is add map pro to our list of servers so map pro and I'm going to pick the file I want to use so I pick map pro choose and then I'm going to add my alias. So I could do local dot map pro.com. And I usually keep everything prefixed as local so that I know it's just on my laptop. And then for development, I'd call it dev.mamppro.com. And for live, it would just be mamppro.com. And hit apply, and it's going to ask me to restart my servers. So now my servers are restarted, and I can go local dot map pro.com and that's time to install WordPress. I'm going to create my configuration file and I have all that information. I know my database is MAMP Pro. Since I'm local, I'm going to just use root, root, and I'm going to keep it as localhost and I'm going to keep it as WP underscore. Now if you're on a live site um, that's exposed to the internet and not just on your laptop, you should be using a unique username, a unique password, uh, this will vary depending on your server, and you should not be using WP underscore. You should be using something else. Um, so also I even say like MAM9R. That would be a good one for a uh, live install. Because keeping it as just WP just gives hackers information that they do not need. And I'm going to hit submit. So this is going to connect to my database and create my WP config file. I'm going to run the install. And again, here, this is the map test. And for my local installs, I also just keep everything admin admin. So I just copied and pasted that. And I'm going to add my name. And this allows search engines to index. You're not actually live, so no one can see it. But that's fine. We'll hit install WordPress. 
and we can do login and I go admin admin and there you go we have our MEMP set up you can see we have it live now one thing you're gonna to have to add as well I know right just below line 81 is where I normally add it so line 81 in a modern WP config file is uh, debug but if you are coming from another install say you just cloned the database from um, the development environment you're also going to need some constants I'm going to paste them here so normally these are actually accessible from the WordPress I think it's the reading settings but right now we just want to make these the location of our WordPress install. So it's going to be local.mempro.com. Hit escape. And I'm going to save it. And now this site is set to always use MAMP Pro because of the WP config file. I say I believe it was under general. Yeah, so you can see local.mamp pro. Those are both unaccessible to us now because they're defined as constants. So that's what I use to run databases, um, the same information between different sites. I'll just sync the database down, make sure my constants are set, change my table prefix if I need to, and then I'm good to go. That is why I use MAMP Pro. Instead of editing host files, I can just again point and click and add a new domain that fast. Thanks for watching.